Hey guys, so we're going to go through um, introductory evaluation in EHR Go. And uh, so we're going to click over into the link. And um, in step one, you're going, going to um, download the activity, which is this document over here on the right. The uh, learning objectives, student instructions, all of that stuff, as uh, usual, listed up top for you. Explains what you should know by the end of it and uh, what you should be doing. So we're going to review the chart of uh, Lewis Lutz to complete the activity. And um, you're going to actually document all your answers right on this Word document. And um, so you do not need to download work from step three for this activity. So we will launch Lewis's uh, chart here, and then look for the answers in his chart. So we want to find out the first question, who's listed as the current rendering provider for his current inpatient stay. So oh, his current encounter listed for today is at General Hospital. His provider is Kenneth Wong. So, seems to be the case there. And he is admitted to, again, his current encounter says that he's at General Hospital. Um, but I want to look. It says he was admitted to the floor for abdominal pain, um, and possibly related to complications of a neoplasm, which is cancer. So, he must have been a direct admit. So, he was not admitted through the ER. Just going to double check though, make sure mm -hmm. he was admitted to the floor. So back over to his um, health overview. You can probably get most of the answers to these questions from the overview, but uh, in the case for his emergency contact, you're probably going to have to go down to his account and look at his um, registration information to get his emergency contact information there and uh, his active problems, you're going to go to his problem list. And look for the oldest date, looks like 2014. Um, and so basically you're just going to click on all the different tabs and answer the questions. And then when you are all done, um, Let's look and see if you're looking to try to find out, like for number 12, if he has an advanced directive. I don't see one in his notes. I don't see one in his care plans. Let's see one if he has one in his orders. Mm -mm. I don't see one anywhere. So, um, like I said, most of it you can get from his overview, um, but you may need to click around in there and look for various things uh, to find the answers that you are looking for. And then when you're all done answering all the questions, you just save it as a PDF per the usual and then upload it to Canvas.